just had a field day because Inkling jab just keeps you in there for so oh, long. Oh, yeah. Ganondorf just runs up with a down air or a forward air. And, and it's over. And it hurts. Yeah. But, and right, then we, the other damage. We got neutral airs coming out from the Ganondorf as well. Getting some decent damage in. But that dash attack from his teammate, unfortunately, catching both. All, actually, all three players with that. Oh, yo, man. They didn't even do the super hoop. Yeah, he, didn't, he did not make that back. But Bolt able to recover back. Taking a back air, though, from the Ganondorf. Ooh, there's a whiff grab again from the Wii Fit. Uh, Sykes is going to have to go ahead and try to clean that up. Because he's already not one stop. I was going to say, if he's trying to clean it up, he's doing a really good job just paying attention to Ganon. Know that he's the slowest in the air, slowest to come back, pretty easy target. Immediately, though, Volt's going to be the one. At least the player attack, well, I'm seeing Volt here. He's going to be the one to put the stomp on him. All right, back air out of shield immediately. Coming out from, assuming the superior, trying to come in with that forwarder, but Ooh. wow. He that tried to rise up with that knee, but you had... <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I think Starks? No, 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 no. That's a Westo coming in to go ahead and stomp him real quick. Oh yeah, Bolt again, just leading it with the backers with the Captain Falcon. Getting some decent damage, and wow, actually extending past uh, his opponent into his teammate, but nonetheless, they're still trying to keep up this pressure. Oh my oh, goodness, that was the close. That, that was close. That was close. I'm gonna watch yourself. Don't, go, don't, don't get too ahead of yourself. Be careful. It's a hard game out there. Get stumped, come back on the stage. I just love the ambition out from this, you know? Like, mm -hmm. he's straight up going for these downers, these forwarders, just yeah. pushing buttons. I, I have yet to see him put up a shield. You have to risk it for the biscuit, right? You know you want the you want the victory. All right, King Sparks coming out too. That is going to be untackable. Uh, but look at that, the Raptor boost actually hard to punish on shield. Uh, you got to be ready for the jump out or anything else after this. Yeah, I, I think Volt does a really good job of taking care of the Ganon, and knowing that he is, in his, in a sense, theoretically, just a little bit better than Ganon as a character. So he's using that speed to make sure Ganon stays off the stage. But I mean, I really do like how this Ganon is just not afraid to go for downers himself. He's off the stage, and I think the directional air dodge helped him out just enough to get back. Oh, that's actually unfortunate for Strikes. I thought he was going to drop down and try to go for a back air on the Ganon, or Ganon having a very linear recovery instead. Yeah. Trying to go high with a downer, and that's not going to connect. And now you have Mustino sitting at 162, but finally losing uh. that stock to a back air. The red team is online to possibly get this game now. See, so now for, for blue team, for them to understand is who's who's out here getting the points? Who's shooting the hoops? Who's bringing it down? And I really think they need to start looking at how to shut down both game two. Except game one loss, right? I think, you know, you're out there fighting for a chance because if you get the 1v1, you might have a good comeback. Ooh. But unfortunately, that will not happen. Look, take the L. Look what look what happened. Ask yourself, what did, what did it go wrong? Look, he didn't keep that umbrella up. I, I saw that thing starting to drop. Oh, yeah. My man immediately recognized it. Stomp him right quick. Get that stock. And, you know, get that W for the red team. They're going to be, you know, going up one game now. See what the counter pick is about to be out from the blue team. All right. If I were blue, if I were blue team, they'll respect, respect, respect or how Ganon is doing and respect how Falcon is doing and how they're fighting. Oftentimes, it's good to just go for a player switch. I'm not gonna lie, if you're feeling that you're not doing a really good job against Falcon or in this particular area against a certain player, just switch with your teammate or back them up. But I think what also is really important is to understand when your teammate's opponents, when your teammate is gonna go find an opponent and when to do the opponent switch. That's super crucial because if one is suffering against the other or if your opponent's holding you down and not even allowing you to go to your teammate, then you need to understand, all right, hold up. Maybe we actually might need to switch up our strategy. I mean, really, at this point, just throw the Ganon off stage. <laughs> yeah. How, how's he going to come back? Very slow. <laughs> very slow, very terrible. You got to hope and pray. Yeah. All right, but immediately Bolt guys him off stage. Knee catching that double jump. He's right back off stage, but able yeah. to recover. I like that. And just stopping and trying to get the superior to get that yield one damage. The good thing about Ganondorf, too, is what he did is he went for the direction of the dodge. Didn't go for the jump. Didn't want to waste that because he needed that, making sure he was going to come back on the stage. But great. Up right into the back. And now Falcon's off the stage and I'll be able to survive. No, I mean, really, to your point, the only issue was air dodging back towards the stage. You actually get a lot of momentum. But if someone scouts that out and they go oh, yeah. deep to get you, they're going to get that stock free. You have so much lag when you're in that directional air dodge stage. Oh, and Ganondorf immediately takes a trade with Cyrix. I would take that trade off stage. I mean, at this point, you only got uh, literally Ooh, just Ooh, OK. The f actually catching Ganondorf right oh, behind Oh, and another it. narrow. Oh, my god. Oh, you, you're, trying to, you're trying to grab him? Nah. I like using the grab on it, getting away from the ball. Good so It's good that now Ganondorf is understanding, okay, maybe if I do keep my opponents off the stage, obviously this is the right play. 
that'll buy my teammates some time to go ahead and start making plays as well. And then I can make plays for Edgar. Oh, well, that back air actually taking away Lucino's jump, but nonetheless, he's going to be able to go ahead and recover. Oh, watch yourself, man. You're off the stage, and immediately we saw Bolt just try to capitalize the fact that, all right, I'm going to take time for this there. He might be wasting a jump here. Another directional air dodge, but like you said, right? He didn't scout it out, but the end lag from it was going to be the one thing that caused him to just lose the stock. Good stuff for Cy Cyrix. I understand that. All right, down throw for the teammate coming in. Go ahead and break that up. I like it. For Bolt. Oh, oh. Try, to, try to scout a roll. It's usually a habit that some players have when they come back from the ledge. Like, they might go for a roll, they just want to make sure they get back to the center stage. Yeah, Alstino is definitely just trying to get that force. He just wants to stock. Bolt has been the problem. Getting so many stocks away from the blue team and it's just wreaking havoc so far. Yeah, overextending just a little bit there. They're gonna get caught with that forward smash. He comes in with that neutral one more time. Bolt just wants to go ahead and try to get this Ganondorf stock, but I do like the fact that uh, Superior is coming in. His teammate trying to help him out a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a tough time. When, when you team with the heavy, you gotta understand, you gotta stop what you're doing sometimes and make sure they can come back. Exactly, because your heavy's gonna be doing the most damage as well as you are by default because they have so much damage potential. But the problem is you want them to get kills, and if they're not getting kills and they're losing, it's Ooh. gonna be the one thing that's anchoring you down. You know, already sitting at 92, eating yet another up air. My man has not landed on the stage for a good 15 seconds, but when he finally does, making the most of the opportunity. Yeah, oh, and I'm making the most of that opportunity. You see that knee? That's a prime opportunity right there. Right, another 2 one situation for the blue team. Let's see if they can go ahead and get out of this one. Time around, but you have the fit trainer with the limit, as I like to say, with that deep breathing. Dash tap. That's a good way to just keep him off the stage. Yet again, I do like the fact that this beach taking time to come back on the stage, finds the landing, can you get the 1v1? Just a little bit of time there. What's hard is that you have to, because of the latest patch, right, you have to respect, okay, it's gonna take me time to pull up the turn up. I have to be careful for the right opportunity and I have to like find the right space. Not only that, I have a 2v1 situation here and the only thing I'm looking to get towards is the middle of the stage. And a great opportunity, but you picked the same place to land, man. Re don't return to the scene of the crime. I mean, you can only mix it up so much. Yeah. Especially in a 2v1, like, what, you're going to air dodge? You're just going to straight up land? Like, there's two people's options that I got to worry about. Yeah, that is sometimes, true. That is very true. You can't think that far ahead sometimes. But, I mean, nonetheless, that's going to be a 2-0 victory. And 